This short film that I directed is titled The Commute, and it's the story of a father that uses a wheelchair, and he's trying to get home in time for his daughter's birthday party. However, he's depending on New York City public transportation to get him there, and he runs into some problems that most wheelchair users find using New York City's public transportation. One of the major obstacles I knew we would have to deal with is the simple fact we were using New York City as a location, so that meant New York City sounds, uh, New York City subways, and the audio would be a major, major issue. Uh, Rich and I decided in pre-production that we would shoot the entire thing MOS, meaning without any sound, and we would design the sound around our final edit. And working with Rich over the years, I knew that he would be the guy to make that happen, and I was really happy with what we came out with because you feel the audio, but it's not a distraction, and that's what you want out of a production. And from a sound design aspect, the street crossing scene was very important. There's a lot going on. There's our character trying to cross the street and he drops his package and there's a car barreling down the street over the cobblestone. And what I really enjoyed is at the end of the scene, our character is trying to get over the bumps in the road and Rich was able to bring out the intricate sounds of the wheels of the chair going across the bumps. Collaborating with Rich is always an experimental experience. I come in, I share my ideas with him, and not only does he absorb those ideas, he makes those ideas his own, and he expands on them. Uh, you know, I've learned uh, and collaborated with him on many projects that he really illustrates what sounds look like, and that's what I enjoy in collaborating with him. I am director Jake Alexander McAfee, and this is why I come to Buttons. 